Hey everyone, in this video, I'll show you how to create realistic radio buttons using Figma variables. This is so easy and cool method, we will use components, variants and variables. So, let's get to the video, I will show you how to do this. So guys, I will show you this step by step, before that, I want to say, I have already made a previous video about radio buttons, but in this one, we are creating a more realistic version, where only one option can be selected at a time. In the earlier version, you had to click again to uncheck it, but now it behaves just like real radio buttons. I have already set up the basic structure, just to keep this video short and sweet. If you're not sure how I set this up, I highly recommend checking out my previous radio buttons video. It's popping up right now in the top right corner of the screen. Starting with this video, I will be adding voiceovers from now on, because someone actually suggested it in the comments section, so here we are. If you have any question or suggestion please don't hesitate to ask it from me. Just leave a comment guys. So first things first, let's go ahead and create three boolean variables. For that, click on the variables icon on the right panel. And click on the create button and use the boolean option to create variables. After that rename those variables like this. Make sure to keep all those variables in false mode. Ok now, let's go to the next step. From here on, I'll go ahead with the steps, so watch carefully, and I suggest following along with me. If you get stuck, just pause or rewind the video. Use Create Component Set option. Now, connect the prototype connections and variables. Watch what I am doing carefully. As the next step, click on plus button and do changes like this. Now duplicate the component set twice and do the changes by watching me. Almost done guys. Now select the first component set and add a variant and keep the value false for default and hover states. Repeat the procedure for all other component sets. It is better to do this part before duplicating the component set. For the active state use true as the value. Double check everything, we can't do any mistake with this. Repeat the procedure for all other component sets. Perfect, now get instance from each three component sets.
Create labels for each three buttons and then we need to connect the radio buttons to the variables. And that's it, guys. Everything's done. Now let's go ahead and test the prototype. As you can see, it's working perfectly. The radio buttons behave just like in a real world scenario. I hope you found this helpful, if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.